Well, welcome, thanks for joining. Um, so, um, video today is going to be on the Insta360 ONE X2. Um, I wanted to test out the uh, camera to see if it's any good for landscape photography vlogging um, because I'm sick to death of carrying two heavy cameras around with me um, and I just wanted to see if it was a viable option. Um, I think it is. I think it really is. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump straight over to the footage and I'm going to let you guys be the decider um, if it's any good for you. And um, I just want to say as well, I've got a couple of drone shots that I'll be putting into the video, but you'll know which ones they are. Um, and then there's a couple off the uh, Z7 II as well. Um, so the majority of this video is shot on the Insta360. Uh, right, so I'll jump straight to it. Uh, so we've just got off the train at Great Ayton. Um, my plan today is to um, to get up to Rosebury Topping Way. Um, but to be honest, we're absolutely spoiled for choice around here. Um, so I'm just going to have a little explore. Uh, first things first, I'm about a mile away from the actual village. Um, so I'm just going to pop into the village and see what I mean it is there. Um, and then hopefully what we'll do is uh, we'll find a couple of good spots. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll get um, a sunset. Um, so I'm recording today on the uh, Insta360. It's finally arrived. Uh, so that's the Insta360 ONE X2. Um, I've had a little tiny play around with it. So today's really the big test just to see how it holds up really. Um, so it, it doubles up as an action camera with a 150 degree view or a 360 degree view, which I think is fantastic. And it'll be great for uh, Sort of them shots where I want to show you sort of the area really. Um, yeah, so absolutely fantastic. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, if you like these videos as well, please do consider subscribing because it really helps the channel out. Um, we're sort of a third of the way now to uh, to a thousand, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining and I uh, hope you enjoy. Best woodland I've seen, so uh, I quite like to just have a little scout. Uh, I'm more of a spot finder than a hiker, so if we can find something nice in here to get us started, that would be absolutely fantastic.
just really nice lighting at the moment uh, surprisingly it's midday but um with it being sort of the beginning of the spring everything's just starting to come to life and it looks quite nice so i just need to find a couple of little characters in here now and uh, see if we can take a nice shot um probably shoot towards the uh, sun um so i'll be looking in that direction but yeah, I'll be back with you when I find something. So I've just taken myself off the uh, the main route just to check out a little woodland that's just uh, pretty close to the station. Um, it's a bit more of a scout this one. Uh, we've got some nice light, but it's um, it's a little bit harsh, so um, worth looking though, definitely. Uh, so it just takes it's a bit of a detour really. Um, quite like to find some. Uh, silver birch or something like that but well, so far no luck yeah so nothing's really jumped out to me in the um, little woodland that I've um, just checked out um, I'm just sort of passing a bit of time really um, so I just stopped and had some dinner but ourselves a crafty uh, crafty um, beer and um, my plan really is just to take a nice steady walk in a minute um, just really enjoying just sitting here I could quite happily not take photos and, and just sit here but it's um, it will make for a great video I don't think so yeah but it's absolutely fantastic here it's just, it's just beautiful I don't know how the um, the camera's on it up, but I'm hoping it's, uh, it's doing well. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm finding this uh, Insta360 absolutely fantastic. So it's just just literally it's uh, in my top pocket here, um, and then my uh, tripod just goes in another pocket, and then. Um, I've just basically not had to not had to uh, worry about the shots or anything. It's just um, it's just a click and go. Um, whereas with the with the camera that I was using before, it was um, it was quite difficult to get sort of the B roll and stuff. Um, I think when you're on the move, you need something that's really uh, really easy just to quickly point and shoot. And with it being a 360 camera as well, you know you can just pick it. You you can just edit afterwards when you've got more time. Um, it just means that less time thinking about cameras and more time immersing yourself within the environment. That's what I think. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, I just had a little review of the footage on my phone, which is cool as well. So I can sort of connect my phone straight to that, uh, straight to the uh, Insta360 and then just sort of check sort of uh, how it's going and that. Notice there was a little bit of tapping on the uh, sound, and I think that's due to um, the way that I was holding the um, tripod. So I think I think probably what I'll need to do is sort of slow down and still off a bit um, when I'm sort of talking to the camera, because obviously you guys don't want to be listening to sort of um, like clacking and banging and whatnot. And I think it's just it's just when your hand rubs on the um, tripod, it makes like a clicky sound. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll be mindful of that so I don't affect the sound ga sound quality for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just take a couple more minutes. Um, I've just had my dinner and a crafty uh, uh, inspiration um, loosen a rupper, um, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna get up. I'd check this woodland out. It's absolutely fantastic in here, but it's just not the right 
I, I'm not really, uh, I'm not feeling it in here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack on and I'm going to get straight up to Rosby Topping. Um, we've got told, well, we've got two trains I can get back, either uh, about half six, I think it is, or nine o'clock. So um, plenty of time, I think. So if I miss that first one, we're not we're not too rushed, really. And I can maybe pop into, um, pop into Great Ayrton for a pint. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Right, so I'll uh, I'll get back to you when I'm uh, on the move. I've found her. Um, I don't necessarily uh, know if I'll be climbing it. Um, I'm here for a shot and I don't have a zoom lens um, so I need to be on the lookout now really for some foreground I think. Uh, there's some really nice pine trees ahead. I think they might be Scottish pines. Uh, So we've got one here, uh, absolutely gorgeous. So I just need something like that, just to... Find any foreground though. Uh, I just need something just to add a bit more interest. Um, have a little play around here for five minutes and see if I can uh, um, find something that's just sort of uh, something that looks good, and then uh, I'll get back to you. So I was just trying to get myself a composition, and um, couldn't find one. And then this sheep just come and sort of stared at me for two minutes, and then it went for a drink in the trough just where I was shooting and it made the perfect um, addition to the scene so um, I've got a colour one and a black and white one whichever's best I'll pop on the screen for you now absolutely fantastic just an absolutely perfect little image just to get going 
Uh, so I'm going to get up a little bit closer now and see if I can find um, another spot really. But cracking. Yeah, so that was absolutely fantastic. Um, so I was just sort of uh, stood there for about 10, 15 minutes, just moving around a little bit, trying to get a composition. Um, and there was a little trough. Um, so I took a photo of that. Um, and then a sheep popped over to see what I was doing and just sort of stood, stared at me for five minutes. And then it just jumped in the scene for me and just started having a drink. So. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, it was handheld. Um, I had the shutter speed high, but I'll pop the settings on for you. Uh, we had the polarizer on just to uh, bring some of the detail out in the sky. There's just a really nice cloud formation too. That's just sort of running uh, over the um, over the over Rosebery topping, and it just looks really nice. It's just sort of lined up with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit closer now um, and just see if I can find another composition. There's quite a nice little building. Um, it just looks like some kind of uh, old sort of, uh, well, I don't know what it is, to be honest, like a little bell tower or something, very short one. Um, so I'm just going to get a little bit closer. Um, the only problem is there's quite a lot of human beings there. So... Uh, obviously you guys know what I'm like, I, I tend to avoid areas with people, so I'll maybe just, uh, I'll maybe just take a photograph of the distance. But it's absolutely gorgeous, it really is. Um, everywhere clear skies apart from, uh, Rosebury, Topping. Uh, it's very misty as well. Um, I think it's maybe sea fret. Uh, so I thought it was maybe pollution or something, but uh, speaking to my friend from um, uh, Whitby, um, when I was well, it's my uh, girlfriend's cousin actually. Uh, he just info he just said it's uh, the sea fret. So at this time of year, when the uh, water hits the sand, because the ocean's really cold um, and the sand's warm, it just creates sort of sea fret. So uh, I found that to be quite interesting. Because apparently, yeah, with me at the moment, it's just you can't see anything. So, um, I think I've made the right choice, really, coming inland. But yeah, it's just an absolutely fantastic day. Um, I'm really enjoying using this uh, camera, actually. I'm just praying and hoping that the uh, image quality is uh, up to scratch. If the sound isn't, um, I'll be able to sort that out, and I can just I can, all I can do is apologise uh, for this video. And then in the next video we'll just improve it so there's like an adapter that you can get for this um and just pop a mic in basically so yeah absolutely fantastic so i just need to find a good position now um i'm not going to get too close because well i quite like to get on top of it to be honest but at the same time i quite like it if there, there weren't any other human beings up there because i can't do my thing well there's loads of people there can they But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll grab a couple of shots on the way up towards it and I'll pop them on the screen for you.
we've got a nice image, um, just a lone tree, and then we've got like a blank canvas either side with the but with the grass at the front, and then a nice clear sky, and then we've got a fence just running along um, at the edge of the field, um, and in the image, all you've got is just a lone tree with the fence running through, and I just think it looks fantastic. Uh, dead simple, handheld, aperture mode on f4. And the reason that I've done that is because I'm only interested in the tree. And at the same time, the shutter speed will just whip up uh, like no tomorrow when you hit that, that F number. And as a result, you just get a fantastic crisp, shallow depth of field. And yeah, just lovely. So I'll pop that on screen for you now. was going to um, head up to Rosebury Topping but there's a lot of screaming going on uh, when I was approaching from uh, young children uh, obviously not having a great day out so I thought I'd just just hang back a bit until they're, there. Until they're quite down and buggered off and then I'll go and have a little look I think uh, we've got plenty of time so I'm not in a rush so I'm having a cheeky beer, just for, uh, well, just because I can really, and then, uh, yeah, we'll pop up there shortly, I think. Uh, the, um, the screaming kids are still there. No, they've moved over that way. So hopefully, uh, give it 10, 15 more minutes, they'll have, they'll have buggered off, and then I'll go up there. So, uh, but in the meantime, cheers. So with this uh, image that I've just taken now, um, I'll pop it on screen for you now. And what I've done here is um, I've just carefully placed uh, the flowers at the front and then the, the uh, sort of building on to the right and I've just tried to balance it as best as I can there's quite a nice wisp wispy looking clouds in the sky as well and they just really just finish off the uh, image um, 
so I've anchored in the image really with the foreground and then to complement the background we've got the tower um, fantastic yeah so we're on a roll uh, I've got a couple more images there uh, there's people around so I just sort of put the camera away because uh, a bit of screaming going on I guess uh, but yeah so we've got a nice little uh, tree in the uh, foreground for the uh, the rose we're topping so what i've done is i've just i've just framed it in quite nicely again the clouds are just offering this really nice misty sort of look to the sky so it really finishes off the image nicely um i think i've uh, picked a picked a good day for this uh I'd, I'd quite like to get up to the top so that's my next uh that's my next idea so i'll pop up there see what i can find and then we'll uh we'll get back with you To just to get a few more handheld shots there uh, I've really emphasized this uh, foreground that's available so it's the very ancient footpath and then I'm just sort of using the mist uh, which is just creating these absolutely gorgeous layers on the image and it just really adds good depth um, so I'll pop them on screen for you and I'll uh, I'll stop making up excuses and finish this little walk up the hill. Thank you. 